Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. We're glad to host you with another video. Fascinating satellite images of the operational arrangement and deployment of Iran's new fighter jets have become available for the first time. Based on these images, at least three Yak-130 jets have been seen at the 8th Tactical Air Base in Isfahan, with two positioned outside shelters and one inside a shelter. An interesting point is the presence of support equipment and crew transport vehicles in the area. It appears this image was taken exactly at the time the jets were being prepared for a group exercise. With all this, it can be said that the deployment process of the Yak-130 at the 8th Tactical Air Base has been completed, and the formation of a new training squadron has been successfully accomplished. On this occasion, we decided to address nine of the most frequently asked questions regarding Iran's Yak-130s, and provide full answers to each. We also hope you enjoy the exclusive operational footage of this jet in service with the Iranian Air Force, with some scenes being aired for the first time. First question, what is the Yak-130 and what does it do? The Yak AEM-130 aircraft, nicknamed Mitten, is a twin-seat advanced subsonic training jet developed by Yakovlev of Russia and Ermaki of Italy. Although due to disagreements between the two countries, the Italian cousin was produced with slight modifications under the name M346. The Yak-130 is capable of simulating the characteristics of 4-plus generation and even 5th generation fighter jets, and is therefore recognized as an advanced training jet. What are the specific capabilities of the Yak-130 as an advanced trainer jet? The most important feature of this fighter is its avionics capabilities, which, without exaggeration, have been unprecedented in Iran. The Yak-130 is equipped with a digital avionics suite based on open architecture. Constructed according to the MIL-STD-15-53 standard. Simply put, this system allows the integration of new equipment and future upgrades, without requiring extensive redesign. Additionally, the Yak-130 cockpit is of the full glass type, which includes three 6 by 8 inch multifunction displays MFDs, in each cockpit. These displays provide the pilot with comprehensive flight, navigation, and combat information. Moreover, the cockpit is compatible with night vision goggles, enhancing nighttime operational capabilities. One of the standout features of the Yak-130's avionics is its four-channel digital fly-by-wire control system. This system not only adjusts the aircraft's stability and controllability, but also allows the instructor to change the flight characteristics and simulate different fighter jets like the MiG-29, Su-30, or even Western fighters such as the F-16. For instance, factors like climb rate, control surface responsiveness, and acceleration can be fully customized. The Yak-130 is equipped with a head-up display and a helmet-mounted sighting system, HMSS. These systems allow the pilot to see vital information without looking down into the cockpit and to target enemies simply by turning their head while wearing the helmet. Other features include automatic landing capabilities in bad weather and an integrated weapons control system. What role does the Yak-130 play in the Iranian Air Force? Or in other words, why did Iran purchase this aircraft and what need does it fulfill? The Yak-130 has been purchased primarily as an advanced training aircraft to prepare Iranian pilots for flying fourth and fifth generation fighter jets. Due to its avionics flexibility and simulation capabilities, it serves as an ideal tool for pilot training from beginner to advanced levels. This feature is particularly important for the Iranian Air Force, which is seeking to modernize its fleet and replace older aircraft like the F-4 and F-5. The Sukhoi Su-30 and Su-35 are among the most likely future fighter acquisitions for Iran. The Yak-130 also enables training for current fighter pilots of jets like the MiG-29 and Su-24. How many of these jets have been delivered to Iran, and are there more purchases planned? According to some reports and hearsay, 12 Yak-130s have been delivered to the Air Force, and it is said that Iran's orders have been fulfilled. From the official images released, we have seen six of these jets up close, which include the registration numbers 79700 to 79705. Does the Yak-130 have the capability to perform combat operations or is it only for training? The Yak-130 is an advanced training jet, but it also has the capability to carry out light combat operations. 
This training aircraft is designed to be used as a light attack aircraft in close air support missions and ground target assaults. The Yak-130 can carry up to 3,000 kilograms of armaments, which include short-range air-to-air missiles like the R-73, air-to-surface missiles like the KH-29, guided bombs such as the KAB-500, S-8 rockets, and a 23mm gun pod. Which countries use the Yak-130, and is Iran benefiting from their experience? Various countries operate the Yak-130 training jet, including Russia, Algeria, Belarus, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Vietnam, and possibly Syria. However, Iran is currently pursuing its pilot training programs in cooperation with Russia, and there is no information available indicating collaboration with other countries at this time. What are the differences between the Yak-130 and Iran's previous training aircraft like the PC-7? The Yak-130 aircraft differs significantly from Iran's previous training aircraft, such as the PC-7, in terms of technical capabilities, performance, and operational role, indicating a significant leap by Iran toward modernizing its training and combat fleet. The Yak-130, equipped with two AI-202-25 turbofan engines with 5,500 pounds of thrust each, has a maximum speed of 1,050 km per hour, and a service ceiling of 12,500 meters, and is designed to simulate the flight of modern fighter jets. In contrast, the PC-7 is a turboprop aircraft with a Pratt & Whitney PT-6A-25A engine generating 650 horsepower, a maximum speed of 412 kilometers per hour, and a service ceiling limited to 10,000 meters, and it is used for primary pilot training. Before acquiring the Yak-130, Iran essentially lacked advanced training jets and advanced training for new pilots was conducted using the two-seat versions of the American F-5 for Western-type aircraft and the Chinese F-7 for Eastern-type aircraft. How are Iranian pilots trained? Accepted cadets at Shahid Satari Air University begin with basic theoretical flight courses, after which they are transferred to Giam Air Base in Kushk-e-Nosrat, Qom. At this base, Initial training includes familiarization with flight regulations, flight principles, and the Bonanza aircraft or its Iranian version, the Paris 2. This stage includes 136 hours of theoretical instruction and 248 hours of practical flight training. After completing the initial stage, pilots are transferred to the flight school at the 8th Tactical Air Base, Shahid Babayi, in Isfahan for their intermediate training. At this stage, Training flights are conducted using the PC-7 or its domestic version, the S-68. This phase includes basic military piloting skills, flight maneuvers, and flight regulations. In the third stage, the pilot's future path is determined based on individual capabilities. Those selected to become fighter pilots begin advanced tactical flight training. This training is conducted at the 43rd Squadron of the 4th Tactical Air Base in Desful using the F-5 or the 86th Squadron of the 8th Tactical Air Base using the F-7. Pilots are first trained in two-seat versions and after solo flights, are prepared for combat training missions. Pilots who successfully complete fighter training enter operational training squadrons on fighter aircraft such as the F-5, F-7, or F-4. For example, F-4E Phantom Pilot Training is conducted at the 3rd Tactical Air Base, Shahid Noje in Hamadan. In this phase, Pilots initially fly in the rear cockpit as navigators, and after several years are prepared to fly from the front cockpit. Ultimately, the top pilots from among the F-5, F-7, and F-4 squadrons are selected, and after gaining sufficient experience are transferred to more advanced fighters, such as the F-14 Tomcat, MiG-29, Mirage F-1, and Su-24. Does Iran have any plans to domestically produce a version similar to the Yak-130? The Kosar-88 project, which led to the production of the Yasin aircraft, is Iran's most serious effort to develop a domestic training jet. Yasin was unveiled for the first time in 2016, and its first successful flight took place in 2019. This jet is equipped with two AUJ turbojet engines, which are domestically produced versions of the American J-85 engine. The jet features multifunction digital displays, MFDs, and a glass cockpit, making it visually and functionally similar to more modern fighter jets such as the F-4 and F-14.
If you enjoyed this glimpse into Iran's Yak-130 capabilities, don't forget to like. Sharing helps the channel grow, and helps more people stay informed. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss our deep dive military content. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.